Hi guys. Okay, so today you are going to take that map, that persuasion map that you have, and you are going to go back into it and you're going to fill out your yellow column. So if my main reason was educational games here, I need to come up with facts or examples that prove that it's educational. Now, I can't just make up the facts, but I could give examples from my own life that taught me an educational thing because of it. So it teaches me to think one step ahead because one time when I was playing against my son, so I can put down just a quick sentence on that. Teaches me to think one step ahead. Add. That's just a quick sentence about the one time. Now, facts, I'm going to have to do a little search on that. So some of you put like, it's fun. Well, that was probably more like a personal experience. So you're going to have to come up with ways it was fun. What made it fun? Why was it fun? Because fun is kind of one of those things like, it's fun to eat a lollipop. It's fun to talk to friends. It's fun to play board games. It's fun to have recess. You know, so fun is kind of relative. Uh, fun to cook maybe for some people. So what made it fun for you? That's what you got to think about. So educationally or strategically, what strategies do you use? In my case, I put down this, that it was here educational in this way. How else is it educational? It makes you think one step ahead. Try to think of at least two, ideally three things that make this reason legit. So I can get plastic ones or weatherproof ones that won't disappear. Well, I think I need to do some search on that and think of how I would store them and put that into that and talk about how, um, uh, playground balls. Okay, please. One place. How am I going to store them and keep them safe? So, what's that? Ah, sorry. There we go. Right, and then I can come up with two more reasons for that, and then won't cause fights because checkers is a polite game. What are the rules of checkers? I need to go back and I need to really think about the rules and how that works and maybe list out those things in order to say how that works and talk about things that do cause fights. Kids often fight when they're playing Foursquare because they argue about which line it landed on. Well, with that could be one of my examples in here that I can put down. That unlike Foursquare, there's no debating about which square you go to in checkers. You're either there or you're not there. You either are the red ones or the black ones. So you need to think about those types of things with your facts. Make sure that these things don't overlap. Some of you had, oh, I had one that overlapped. So if it's... Um, Sometimes games don't take as long as others where somebody had a tic-tac-toe game. And they said it doesn't take long so you can switch players out and play with all different people. But then they said you can play with friends was another separate reason. Well, those two reasons are really quite the same thing. So you want to make sure those reasons don't overlap with each other. But as soon as you're done filling this out, Share it back with me because it shoots me an email telling me that and I can just double check it and make sure that it makes sense. And we'll go from there. Next writing lesson, we are going to start writing some paragraphs for each of these. And remember, you can share samples from your own life. Once when I was, and just like here, I would expand on this story 
when I'm explaining this reason a little bit more, but I wanted to at least remind myself that this is a story that goes with it being educational and how I was able to think a step ahead. So good luck filling out your yellow column. Have fun with it. Make sure it's something you're passionate and feeling like you really do know the game or what it is. And if you don't, research. Make sure your parents are okay with you researching if you go to Google to research it. So have fun.